Welcome to another update, an exciting one today. We're going to cover LTCN, the Grayscale Litecoin Trust, and BCHG, the Bitcoin Cash Trust from Grayscale. So let's go. Let's start with LTCN. We'll cover the daily and the weekly chart, and then we'll go to BCHG for the same time frames. It's been a while since I did a, an update, and you will see that somehow LTCN is a little weaker, in my opinion, than BCHG. I'll tell you why if you watch till the end of the video, but let's start with LTCN. As you all know, the crypto market is either sideways or correcting. Bitcoin is trying to bounce back now, and it's normal, it's supposed to having, it's the period that is more volatile, nobody knows what will happen, and you just have to keep your coins. Find a way to avoid leverage and keep your coins during this period, because some days are up, some days are down, and in this cycle, we are more on the corrective side right now, but you just have to let days go by until we get the surge in price for Bitcoin. So that was the macro, look into it. So for Grayscale now, we see that we are back at exactly the top level that we have seen in March 2024 here and beginning January of 2024. We just did a 180, so we went from 18 to 55, back to 18, we traded here as a support, very close to the ME200 on the daily chart, and then we are trying now to bounce back. What it is, is pretty much a confirmation. So it means that we confirm that this is the base level and if we bounce back here, it's going to be extremely bullish for LTCN in the upcoming weeks. You will see in the weekly chart why I see it as a confirmation. It's quite a big confirmation, but if you know the cycles of Bitcoin, it's not a surprise. It's a volatility thing. It's part of the altcoins, as Grayscale is somehow linked to Litecoin LTC. So we have done 180 up to 18, which means that we are back to levels of the beginning of the year. And for those who missed the boat, well, this is your opportunity. You need to look into Grayscale and see if these two funds are something that you want to trade into it, play with the volatility and see where it goes. It's frustrating for those who got in in March and January. We have done pretty much nothing if you didn't take any profits at the top of this. It's the case for me. I'm back down. Why? Because I invested for the year and a half. My goal was to invest for the year and a half no matter what happened. And I wanted to see if we were going to go back to the levels that we have seen in previous cycles. That was the whole premise. And because I'm in crypto, well, I need to tolerate those swings. I didn't lose any shares. I bought LTCN and BCHG and I kept them. I still have them. It's not a huge part of my portfolio, but it was just an evaluation of these two assets because I wanted to see how they would perform in this cycle. So at this stage, we're close to the MA200, around $18. Now we're close to $20. And the support seems to be holding. And my, my guess is it will hold. So this is a buying opportunity for those who want to get in and evaluate this trade. Obviously, if you buy now, we're almost at the end of this 90-day period post having The chances of getting... An impressive price action are higher. I will learn this for the future cycles of LTCN and BCHG and see if it's a good idea 
to get into the asset before the halving. Obviously, if you bought in the complete bear market, it doesn't affect you that much. You're much, much, much lower in your entries. But I'm talking about those who bought at the beginning of the year and that are in a similar situation as myself. So at this stage, it's a good entry point. Well, why is a confirmation this level around $20? It's because of this structure. So this is the prices of the bear market here, around $6. We went as high as 55. And the previous stop here in though this whole section was $20. We went to 55 and came back. An increase in volume, a decrease in volume. And now we are at $20 trying to bounce back. So this to me is a breakout. At the beginning of a breakout, back to the support before the huge run-up and i believe that's what's happening with ltcn we have not seen these green candles huge green candles that we have seen the previous cycle so the trade is still on it's still valid yes we are back to square one for ltcn but that's what you need to live for and look into when you're playing with crypto related assets. You have to learn from previous cycles and history as to what the asset is doing. The market is way bigger now than four years ago. So there's more actors, there's more volume, there's more manipulation, there's more everything and you need to be aware of it. And the patterns may be similar but not exactly the same and that's what you need to learn. So in this case, I'm not discouraged. Actually, I'm quite bullish for LTCN. Now that I know the price action since the beginning of the year compared to before, but let's see what this trade will give us. I think we could see the, these types of candles very soon. And in my opinion, we're going to $400 at the minimum. We could even go beyond that an additional X, maybe even higher. I don't know how crazy it could get, but let's see. But at this stage, again, last chance to get into LTCM. Now, let's cover the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust, BCHG. I said at the beginning of the video that BCHG is a little stronger than LTCM. And why is that? It's because of the peak of 2024 and March 2024. As you see, we got the run up and we did not come back to the same level of $5 or so. We stopped at $8 and now we're trying to bounce back. So this identifies me, PCHG, as a stronger asset. We went high, we corrected. And yes, we're near the ME200. You notice that the ME200 is above this $5 level already and going up. BCHG did a similar pattern than LTCN, but it corrected less. Therefore, it could be a stronger asset, meaning that when it bounces, it's going to give you higher percentages than compared to LTCN. That's my analysis of what has happened since the beginning of the year. Like I mentioned, we broke in March, went as high as 24 and then came back and we're trading around between $9 and $10. The base is at $8. The ME200 is catching up right now and we could see a breakout. Again, Grayscale Bitcoin Cash, it's in the same situation as LTCN. It has corrected quite a bit. It's now on a new support at eight level at eight dollars, not five dollars. So a little higher than we had before. But again, same situation supplies. Could be a nice entry for those who want to test this premise of these two trusts to see if we can get the returns that we got in the previous cycle. To me, it's a no-brainer, quite a nice opportunity to get these two assets at an amazing price. 
let's have a look finally at the weekly chart and you see you will see what I mean so this is the weekly chart of the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust and as you see the structure is way bigger compared to LTCM so there's a lot more volume there's a lot more movement in the price for BCHG than LTCN and like I indicated we went as high as $24 and then we corrected and on the weekly what do we see that the support now is at the ME200 level and that's quite critical we bounce right back at it to me this is a solid support we should explode from here and it could be an amazing trade so for future cycles in my opinion for Bitcoin Cash and LTCN the same strategy applies you would have to buy in the bear market as much as you can because we're not gonna correct back during the bull market but the first movement of the coin pre having I would think before investing and wait until we have the having event wait for a correction at that level post having event before nibbling down and adding to my positions if I want to add my positions that would be my strategy for the next cycle for LTCN and BCHG if we get explosive candles like this now till the mid of the 2025 or the next year next year completely at this stage until next summer so let's see what the trades will do what grayscale Bitcoin cash trust and LTCN will do for the upcoming days that I think are critical watch out for Bitcoin because it could explode any second now and we need just to be patient the trade is still on yes we have corrected quite a bit but this trade is still on and we could see massive returns so that's the video today I wanted to cover this trade that I initiated beginning of the year or so and wanted to give you an update I hope you enjoy it and we'll see each other on the next one